Hello, today we're in the polytunnel and we're going to be repotting our chilli plants into 11 litre pots. Let's get on and do it. My name's Luke and I come from a small town called Carnarvon in North Wales. I'm a chef by trade, but in my spare time I like to come up with weird and wonderful business ideas. This time, to keep me motivated, I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. So sit down, relax, and let's build the business together. So, as you can see, the chilli plants, they're still a little bit tiny, um, but they did have a little spurt of growth while the sun was out, uh, but they've slowed down, the weather's turned, um, it looks like I've got a little bit of uh, slug or aphid damage on some of the plants too. So I'll be putting um, some spray, uh, neem oil spray for the aphids and I'll be putting some blue pellets around the uh, outside just to keep the slugs away. I did notice there was a couple of slugs on the, uh, the old water tray just around the side there. Okay, so there's 10 plants that have survived two of the 12 plants have unfortunately um died um they were very small plants and i don't think they could uh, take the cold so um we've got these 11 liter pots which we're going to be repotting into and i'll be using a mixture of uh, miracle go all-purpose compost um, with some vermiculite some perlite and some fish blood and bone. Um, I'll be putting about one tenth of the vermiculite, perlite and the fish blood and bone um, to each part of the Miracle Glow compost. Okay, so let's get our compost into the tub. Right, compost in. Now for the vermiculite. About three handfuls to an 11 litre tub. And uh, the same of perlite. and some fish blood and bone. Right, I'll mix that through. Okay, that's uh, thoroughly mixed through. Now, let's get one of these plants out. I'm just gonna leave the, uh, the soil on it um, and dig a small hole in the middle. pop our plant in and then just uh, add a little bit more soil on around the edge. There we go, there's one done. I'll uh, go ahead and pot the other ones and uh, I'll be right back.
there's all the plants they're uh, all planted into 11 litre pots now and um, there's not quite enough room for two of the plants on the tray so i'll be ordering another filter and uh, getting another tray so i can um, attach another piece of uh, self-watering system to it um, i'll be back in a week or two just to show you the progress but um, for now i'll just water um, the plants because there should be enough nutrients in the soil that I've given them and then uh, after a couple of weeks I'll be using some liquid feed on them. Okay I'll see you in a week or two. I'm back a week and a half after I uh, repotted and they seem to be um, all healthy in the uh, new pots. Uh, what I've also done is I've bought a second filter, so now I have two trays um, connected to the uh, water butt and uh, they'll uh, self-water themselves. So all I, all I need to do is come here with some nutrients every now and then, every week or so. So um, yeah, they're all looking pretty healthy. Um, hopefully I'll get um, three or four plants from my propagation experiment and uh, so I'll be adding to these 10 here so I should have between 14 and 15 plants in here altogether which will uh, will fit in the trays nicely um, just about so um, that's it for this video I'll see you on the next one if you like the video guys please subscribe we'll be giving away free prizes after we reach a thousand subscribers uh, please also like and comment we like to know what you think of our videos we'll uh, see you on the next video